Hello everybody and welcome back. So, here we are with another episode of the Viavi One Expert Meter. In this episode, I'm going to talk about using this meter to perform an ingress scan. So basically, what is ingress? Ingress is outside interference able to make its way into the cable and therefore backfeeding interference like that. So that could be caused by, for example, the cable being damaged somewhere along the line or a bad fitting or just in general like old cable with old fittings because older cable doesn't usually have as good of shielding as the newer cable does. So why do we even do ingress scans? Well, if there's too much ingress on a cable line going to, for example, uh, a modem or other piece of cable operated equipment that could uh, cause issues with it such as intermittent connectivity because basically the higher the ingress on the line the uh, harder that the piece of cable equipment is trying to talk back to the ISP and communicate back and forth so it'll struggle more to communicate like that and could cause intermittent issues so first first things first yeah, before we, in order to do this cable, or in order to do the ingress scan, uh, you need to connect a piece of cable to port number two up here on top of the meter. So, and another thing too about the ingress scan is um, ingress readings that you should be seeing um, are pretty much universal to all cable systems. The ISP does not matter whatsoever. Uh, the ingress scan is really only checking the physical integrity of whatever cable that you have plugged into it. And another thing too is that you should not be plugging in a live cable wire that has signal coming through it from the ISP into port number two and try and do an ingress scan on it because I'll just show up with a crap ton of noise showing up on the ingress scan. <clears throat> Another thing too is ingress is also known as noise or static. So anyhow, yeah, we're going to go into the ingress scan application on the meter here. You see it's already highlighted there, so let's click on that. All right, so we are in the ingress scan. This is a live test as well, so we can see um, we can see it live if there if there's any noise that pops in or out. So anyway, let's just get this one started. All right, so now the ingress scan is running. So. As you can see here, the uh, noise floor, which is the spectrum that we're staring at here, is nice and flat. And that's exactly uh, what you want to see. That's basically perfect. Pretty much no ingress is making its way in there. Or pretty much no noise, or whatever you want to call it. And you also see at the top there it says peak negative 48. That's basically perfect. And that's basically just talking about... Um, I mean, like, you see the negative 45 right here? Well, yeah, that's that line right there is hanging around the negative 48 mark. So that's where that's talking about. So, yeah. <clears throat> we also have sliders down here. So vertical, I think, zooms in. Yep, it just zooms in. And horizontal expands the spectrum, of course, horizontally. So yeah, when you have it all the way extended, you can see every little thing there in the spectrum. <clears throat> Alright, so that's an example of what a good cable should look like uh, with a good ingress scan. So now I'm going to show you guys what a bad ingress scan or noise scan should look like. I'm going to purposely damage the cable and show you guys, so I'll be right back. 
All right, so we're back, and I've purposely sabotaged the cable a bit. So here's the cable right here. As you can see, I just exposed a bunch of the center conductor there. So now hopefully that should be letting in unwanted ingress. So let's just go ahead and get the scan started now to see what that should look like. Oh yeah, you see that. Now the spectrum is definitely not flat and there's, it's spiking. So yeah, that is ingress or noise making its way into the cable there. And let's see, the peak now says negative 24. And that's definitely not the greatest either. Let's, let's expand using the vertical slider. Oh yeah, you see all that? No, that's a horizontal too. I didn't even touch that. And now let's expand on the horizontal one. Now it doesn't really tell us much, but... Yeah, at least saw with the vertical one. Um, now I'm just going to kind of mess with the cable and even touch it too, just to show you what happens. Yep, spikes up even more when I touch it. I'm like rubbing my fingers across it too. Yep, spiking like kind of crazy now. And the peak is like, what, negative five? Yeah, that's real bad. <laughs> that would definitely cause issues on cable equipment. Now if I touch it with like something metal, now it just goes to excessive ingress and the whole scan will just freeze and just come back when the, in when the excessive ingress stops. So, yeah, that's an example of what a not so good ingress or noise scan would look like. Another thing I wanted to mention too is the fact that, um, I mean, every cable, coaxial cable is going to have noise on it uh, or a noise floor. Like, for instance, going back to the good scan, it, there was still just a noise floor there, but it was nice and flat. So, I mean, I guess the point I'm trying to make is, yeah, every coaxial cable, even in good health, is going to have noise there. But it'll basically just be the type of noise as if maybe you tuned your radio to a radio station that's out of range and you're just hearing the static from that just because you're not picking up anything and it's too far away. That's basically like the noise floor that we were seeing on the good scan. But um, on this bad scan here, it's more than just that type of noise. Like there's just no signal there. This is unwanted stuff getting into the cable. Unwanted signals. So, yeah. So that's an example of what a bad scan looks like. So... I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to catch you guys in the next one.